just on the strength that. So you could marry someone point. who's bisexual. Okay. Yeah, I could. Okay. Speak Absolutely on. could. Now, the reason I say that is, is because one thing that I have personally learned last few years is that uh, there always seems to be like this confusion between like people's physical attraction and personality traits yeah. because because like a lot of folks kind of think that like oh because like a person is attracted to both uh sexes or whatever like men or women or whatever the case may be then like oh there's this thing where she could potentially uh step out on you more so whatever the case may be so but a lot of people kind of miss kind of misconstrue some things because and <clears throat> just on the strength that for one, it really depends on the loyalty of that person. So it really comes down to whether or not that they are there for you, for you, because let's be real, whether it's a man or a woman, if a person, if a dog, if you get with a dog person, that person is going to dog you out no matter who they're attracted to. Facts. Mm -hmm. So, so it doesn't matter whether or not like they are attracted to same sex, attracted to different sex or whatever, or pansexual, whatever the hell you want to, you know, whatever the case may be. Because what it comes down to is whether or not that person is loyal to you. Now, another thing that you could probably throw in there is the fact of whether or not that they have dealt with what their sexuality is like as they get older because a lot of them go through things like say well hey i'm feeling this way i'm feeling that way and a lot of you know a lot of people grow up and wind up being ostracized for feeling a certain ways say hey you're not allowed to feel that way this that and the third so it becomes a very difficult thing with them trying to express that like hey i am attracted to you but i'm also attracted to the same sex or whatever the case may be and people do necessarily get put off by that because of you know societal norms as we know them today so but as we're becoming i like to think as we're becoming more educated in this day and age we're kind of starting to really look at certain things and trying to differentiate one thing from the other because one of the misconceptions we have is that we kind of make two different things the same thing like Physical attraction and character traits are two completely different things. They're not in any way the same thing at all. But at the same time, it's like it is something that would be worth mentioning if you guys are trying to start a relationship, trying to figure out where you guys stand. Because it really, it really comes down to this. You're going to have people who want to be in a committed relationship, and then you're going to have people who are commitment foes. And it doesn't matter whether you're gay, straight, bi, non, you know, whatever. If you're a commitment phobe, you're going to dog somebody out because you don't know how to be in a committed relationship. If you want to be in a committed relationship, you are willing to put in the work to make it last. So that's why, like, as far as for me, a preference, that doesn't necessarily, that preference doesn't really matter to me because it doesn't really determine who you are as a person. All right, well said. I, I I agree with a lot of what you said there. Is it, do you feel like we're not, do you feel like you're not factoring in enough a person's dual sexualities? Meaning if one side is being fed and the other side is going mm -hmm. starving for years, that those urges won't or can't cause issues in a relationship. Especially when you factor yeah. in the person's bisexual friends. and people Yeah, and that, and yeah, that yeah, that's that's what I yeah, that's what I was referring to when I'm saying like you you run you run into this situation where like as a person is trying to discover what their sexuality is and how their attraction works or whatever, like a lot of people aren't able to really explore that during a healthy time when it's uh, during a good healthy time when it's time to explore because a lot of time they run into ostr you know ostracism when it comes to that. And again, that's something that you do have to kind of really get a background on or whatever. And like, you know, the, the psychoanalytics of it. But uh, you do you it's like I said, with that, you can factor something like that in, because, again, because it's not a societal norm, quote unquote, you know, people usually kind of keep that part hidden as, you know, ergo, you know, download dudes, download females, 
you know, so on and so forth or whatever. And it's it and it's a trope. It's kind of a trope when it comes to people who have never discovered that part of their attraction, sexuality, or whatever, where things kind of become complicated. I agree with a lot of what you're saying here. All right, yeah, I see. Uh, trust in the person's characteristics and personality, yeah, not so much their sexual preference, and just see where it goes. Even though there will be, there may be, dis, you know, battles. There may be uphill battles. Oh, absolutely, you have to, absolutely. Obstacles you got to go over, but just overall, you believe that the person's character will win out in the end. Yeah, that's what you. That's I tend to believe. That's what everybody believes once they take that leap, regardless of. Sexual. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, I, I mean, look at that, look 100%. at heterosexual marriages all the time. Like people like break up and divorce all the time. Like heteros, like heterosexuals do sense. it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it's you know, so it's just like if you know, if if they if if like a, a straight couple can constantly have issues, constant, constant again, whatever. It's like that's not exempt for somebody that's gonna that's gonna be in the same sex thing or two. Because again, that's why you have. Your difference between people who want to be in a commit, committed relationship, your monogamous people, and your people that are commitment foes. So it's 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 going to be it's pros and cons, but at the same time, it's like it's really not that different when you really think about well, it. Um, to be honest, for it, if a woman and and the woman is the same, it's the sex. Yep, they be fighting, bro. They be duking that shit out. I seen some shit, bro. And my auntie, bro, she always fighting her fucking ex and shit like that. I'm like, fuck. They be knocking it up, bro. I'm like, damn. You know, it's that. Um, and she realized that, hold on. Hey, yo, but she a woman too. Fuck this shit. I can beat her ass. Get down. So it's more of a, it's, it's like, fuck, bro. And I... I don't know, bro. I seen some shit, bro, with that shit. That shit gets, gets from violent. experience. Experience. I seen some shit. Okay. Man, oh, it gets nasty. Sex. Trust. Nice I know shit. that. <laughs> Fuck. I like you to know. keep the hope alive, though, man. Thank you so much. very much, Father Marvel, for your insight. Thank you for supporting the channel, bro. Uh, MCU and Feige, we trust. For sure. All right, bro. Thank you, bro. Slip that in there. Huh? Slip I that in there. there. I'm still down Team Marvel up in this motherfucker. Oh, the bully. Finally. Coop the bully has arrived, bro. Okay. You've been saying some okay. very interesting things in the chat, Nothing. Coop. What's up? How about Did now? You? No, do your thing. <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you fine. Okay. I just wanted to hop in and everything like that and stuff. So, honestly, uh, Fallen Marvel was really saying a lot of kind of what I felt oh, on I the, the territorial the matter. stuff, though. We're going to talk about that. Territorial. Oh, a territorial man is an insecure man. I am saying it to this extent in terms of if you're looking at it, like, okay, I don't want my chick to be doing this, doing that. You want to have that confidence that it's like, all right, where you're going to pretty much be okay with the decisions that's being made and everything like that. So if you're just like, oh, I don't, she don't need to be talking to this person. She's sitting here talking with women and everything like that. That feels to me a little bit of like territorial and whatnot and just lacking confidence. And if you're lacking confidence and you're exuding that to your partner. But that's not territorial though. Yeah, that's, that's a different conversation. That's, that's, it may, that's, territorial that is, might not necessarily be the proper term. Yeah, that is insecurity. That is, yeah. if, you're, if you're going through life trying to stop your girl from going on dates, hanging with friends, not wanting to let her go out by herself and worried about yeah, what she's doing, that is an insecure, else. weak motherfucker. That's something else. Territorial is something different. That's a man standing up for his space. This is my girl. This is my situation. Stay back. Stay out. I will defend and fight over this. And this is how I get down. These are my rules. This is how I go. And this is my domain. My Let's use my house, my yard, my property. Right. Mm -hmm. like what, what goes down here, this is my sheet, my domain. And there's rules that come with this. And if you ain't feeling them, then you can freaking bounce. You know what I mean? It's more yes. of, it's more. I, of can, I, I can understand. Re, 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 yeah, I can definitely understand respect, man. What is that's yours and everything like that. So getting into the whole idea that it's like, oh, you're being in a relationship with a, a woman that's bisexual and everything like that. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think it's very different than, you know, being in a relationship with a, a straight woman. Granted, it does have its levels of factors that you have to consider and everything like that. You're going to be like, OK, there's more competition. Can you marry a bisexual it, woman? I could, I could. At the end of the day, if you are for me, 
then we can make it work. Is a bisexual woman so, for you? Do you care about her sexuality? Doesn't matter. I mean, I would definitely love to have someone that is more committed to me. <laughs> and I say committed in the sense that it's like I don't have to worry about those other factors, whether mm-hmm. I'm putting it out there in the, the atmosphere or not. So if anything, if they're straight and whatnot, it's like, all right, great. I just have to be concerned with like you liking other men and whatnot. So it's like I'm in competition with them. When it comes to you dealing with other women and whatnot, I can't do for you what they do for you and and whatnot. So it's like I don't Maybe that's part of it where it's like I don't have that level of like, okay, how how can I compete with that and such. So that's why I'm just like, "Uh, I get where it can be kind of problematic. Uh, mentally going into a relationship and that dynamic and such. But if we're going to look at it in terms of, is it possible? Absolutely. If you're going to be committed, I can trust that. It's like whether you're bi, straight, whatever, what have you, we're in a relationship. You're not going to be sitting here looking at other women, other men and everything like that. We're going to be together and we're going to make it work and we're going to progress that way. So you want a woman that's into you, but what about a woman that's not even into just your own gender? I mean, we talking about somebody who's bisexual. She I mean, she she would have to be somewhat into my well, gender. Well, no, she's, she's, way, if we're gonna, right, she's somewhat yeah. into your gender. But do you under you feel what I'm saying? Like I, a woman who yeah. is a woman. Options matter, in my opinion. The more options, the more snares, the more ability to cheat. Facts, yeah, I agree. Facts. That's just that's just it. If, if Coop, if your woman's faithful, bro, like say you got a, a faithful woman who, who is average looking, and if somehow I was able to magically Thanos snap, and allow her to become so attractive to men to the point where, every day you guys go out, every day she goes out, she gets ten people who approach her to try to get at her, and I'm talking about very attractive men, very ex- uh, successful men, consistently, constantly, and then you add the fact. That women are doing it too. And she's bisexual. So consistently, women, men, beautiful women and men who look better than you, who look better than me, who look better than anything we could keep up with, are consistently trying to get at your girl. Do you not feel like that would make her cheat? Do you feel like that would, she would succumb to those temptations? Here's the thing whether you're adding women into the equation, she could succumb to that regardless. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's I just more, added, I added the women because it's like double. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's it's more competition, and everything like that. And I go back to what I said, where how can I sit here and kind of compete with that or give you that feel, like F I L L, in terms of what you you're not if you're with a man and everything like that. Sure, I can give you you know what, or at least I'm hoping I can give you you know what a. Uh, you know, other men that you're not getting from other men and everything like that. But when it comes to another woman and whatnot, then it's like, all right, well, why do we just have to kind of play it up a little bit? Do we have to have threesomes or something like that and such? But I feel like if we're really playing the relationship and boiling it down to more of a, a sexual I don't dynamic. Cut you, I don't want to cut you off, but you didn't answer the question. If, a, if your girl is getting amazing attention from dying piece men and women consistently, do you think she would fall to it? Over time, it may take three months, six months, a year, five years. Do you eventually think that one of these beautiful, successful men or women will eventually allow her? Will she sleep with one of them, or get with them, or kiss them, cheat on you? Basically, if that's the case, it's something that I'm not doing. I'm not being enough to you no, know. I don't think so. Don't blame, so. Her don't blame yourself. That's no. It's how is that Everybody's your fault? Everybody's responsible for their own actions. But right. are we are we bringing this back to the point where is it because of her bisexuality or just? Options. Like the, the point that I was making was, the point I was making there was the options, right? It's uh, mm-hmm. uh, because men, what, well, there's, what, there's more women in this earth than men. That's what there's I've what, heard. Uh, what do I have? Forty, forty-five percent. There's forty five percent. There's forty-five percent men or forty percent men Some or whatever shit. on this planet. Forty-five. That's forty-five percent of the market that your girl's going for. Now, if we add that over times two, now you're a hundred percent of the market, which means that the odds go up. And with the odds going yeah. up, does that mean that she's more suspect or liable to cheat or be unfaithful? That, that was the point I was making. I guess if that was more so in her nature to already do so, sure. 
I think if you are secure within your relationship think, and whatnot, then it's okay, like my bad. I think it doesn't matter it. whether she was gonna do it or not. She can be faithful, but the odds went up regardless. That's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 The odds the odds went up. That's it's, factual. It's more a yeah. probability of it happening. Sure. I can I can give you that point. I'm sure. a, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> throw a belief out there that's gonna be controversial. I believe even the most faithful woman will eventually cheat on you so long as men are consistently coming at her of a high level and a high value, she will cheat on you. Yeah. Even the most faithful I women. I don't, I don't know about so. that. Over time, she will. She will. Yeah, she will, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Being courted by a very attractive, successful men for years, every day, she will yeah, eventually yeah, cheat yeah, on yeah, you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. I'd that's say, my belief. I'd say yes to that if, if, if the if I'm not a constant, if the 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 person she's with isn't a constant. She keeps she keeps coming home to you, but every time she right. goes out and gets dressed. Niggas with Corvettes and Mercedes right. McLarens pull up to her yeah. every day about right. how beautiful she is, and these niggas look way better than you. Right. So, she's going to cheat. So yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's just where I'm at. With that, I believe that it's a 50-50 chance. But if it's I'm something... I'm a lot higher than that. If it's yeah. something... If it's something... <laughs> a lot yeah, I, If it's I'll something you where, it's, where it's, you know, you're having it's a... options code. Yeah, I know, but... You can still you 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 still have the options to not do it. That's still a thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So 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 I think I feel like with that said, if it's a scenario where it's a long distance relationship and you're only seeing this person, don't even need long distance, I'm, homie. I'm just telling you what I feel. Got this you. is what I believe. If it's you're only seeing them a few times out of the year, a couple months, and they're getting all of that the majority of the time, now there I feel like okay, now they're liable to cheat, but. Other than that, I feel like it's 50-50. I feel like I feel like this. If a woman is if a woman cheat on you on that note, either A, this woman really don't know what she wants, she's lying to herself, saying that she do want you what she's doing, she feel like she's settling, and she just feel like she can't get nothing now, she has better opportunity. But if this woman is like that, she's not happy within herself. So of course she's going to go for another person because she don't even know what the hell she wants in the first place. That's my personal opinion because I feel like if a woman really wants a man that really gives a damn about this man and care about this man no matter what, she's not going to cheat on him. I've seen, I, it, I I've seen it way too much, E, I where just the, with the most faithful women just working with another man, spending a lot of time with another man, at work, yeah, she ends up place. cheating on her yeah. husband, yeah, loves fine. her husband, fine. but so, you're spending so much time at work, yes, so and that, then that could turn into a lunch yeah, date, yeah. and that she that turns back, back, and that's a guy who may not even be better right. than her husband. So that goes back to my point. Spending time at work, you spend more time at home uh, at work than at home. I said yes. everywhere, code. No, no, I, I know. said a minute. These men are at work too, not on the street. No, no, no. I'm just to my point. Yeah, her I'm boss. I'm saying to my point. You're you're talking about a realistic scenario. Yeah. Where, but that goes back to my point. She's spending more time at work with this person and less time at home with you because you spend more time at work than you do at home. No, no. So really. I feel like if it, I no, feel like it's true, a really. higher. It's a higher possibility because you're spending more time with no, the No, you're at home most of the time, and you got the weekends when you're with your family. 16 hours at home, 8 hours at work. Yeah, but... 16 hours not at you, work. You Let's know what I mean. You I know got what you. I mean. You're not, but then you had weekends, you're not, that's the deciding factor. You're not spending every waking moment with your significant other, but when you're at work, you're constantly eight working hours. with these And then people. you have the weekend, though. I just don't feel... I feel like the engagement... I, f I just feel like women and men, when they get in close proximity and they work together... Attraction blooms, and they don't even need to be attracted to each other initially. Yeah, they don't. I, I don't believe a man and a woman need to be physically attracted to one another to become attracted to one another. I agree with you, and that just comes with just a little time. bit of time. And and exactly, I think time is the fact. That's yeah, why time I, is a huge factor. That's yeah. why I did the time thing so yeah. much. And then, and, and then time, which means every day these niggas is coming at you time after time after time all day every day. I just don't think no woman or man Tested. could be faithful in that matter. Tested, yeah. Man, I, I'm not going to be faithful to my girl, bro, if I got Beyonce's coming at me every day. It's I'm a realistic 50 /50. person. It's I'm, be 50 /50. I'm a faithful person. I am faithful in my relationships. Me too. But if Beyonce's are coming at me every day, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, go, I'm shooting my shot. I'm not. I'm not. Kill me. You know what I mean? Not, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh, uh, I'm not. Yes, you are. Bro. I'm not. Because I'm Ayo a with those. Ayo with those pull up. <laughs> no. Them Asians. Don't do that. Look. Ayo with those pull up. I am <laughs> not because I'm what a. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm a, Shut your line, I'm brother. A strong, I'm a strong believer Get in. Get the freak out of here with I'm that I'm a strong shit. believer in yeah. you can feel a certain type of way, mm -hmm. but you can physically not do Nigga something. Nigga looking like you know? a knight in shining now, armor. Now, it ain't no knight in shining armor. Sid. B, shout out to my nigga Sid B. Oh, shit, he said, can y'all drop that link again? I want to try and pull up. I need some clarification for sure. Y'all about to see the homie Sid B on Joey's Corner live, man. Get on up in here. Uh, shout out to a Coop, man. So, uh, we be, uh, you know, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro, and sharing your yeah, pain on yeah, thing, bro. You yeah. think 
you think a little different than most, and I appreciate that, bro. I think it brings a lot of good variety to the platform. Thank you, thank you. Plus, you a member of the five hundred dollar club, my G. Coot the bully, yep. Shout out to you, Coot man. You the man out here, bro. Absolutely, always man. love to the JC fam. You know it. Uh, always. <laughs> So my man Coop, nigga tight, JC fam all day. All right, so as we're waiting on my man Sid B to pull up, we're going to see his uh, Koala Bear face in a minute. Koala yeah, he's going he to set up his little setup and shit. That's how I feel, bro. Yeah, Am I, yeah. If, yeah. If I got Kelly Rollins, Shakira's, Beyonce's, Jessica Alba's, Rosario Dawson, all just coming at me. I, I, I got you. I, 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 yeah. Every Zoe day. Deschanel. Hey, man, yeah, hey, yeah. fall. Yeah, blue eyes, fall. Then I mean, don't... fall in your lap. I mean... There's a difference between cheating when you no, when you, you pursue. I know like you I could avoid and when they just fall. Like when it falls, on it's a blessing. They're coming on to you. Okay. Yeah, I I know, that's you. what Kanye West said. Come on, Coach, stop being a simp. I'm not. You a, you a simp nigga right now, bro. Oh you my know, goodness. You know yeah, you gonna have sex with that chick, bro. No. You gonna have sex with them celebrities, bro. Yeah, yeah, come on, bro. Miranda so Baccarin. You ever get the Lauren Sanchez, bro, all these women come at you. Like, come on. Yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, no. Bro. I'm strong. I strongly here, believe. Bro. I strongly believe yeah, I'm about to pull you that you can right now, you can you can have a burning desire to do something, but you have to physically do the act. You have to physically do the act. That willpower. Well, it's 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 all willpower on the inside, but physically. It takes nothing for me not to act. I can physically walk away. I'll be burning inside. I don't want to walk away, but bro, rat catcher, rat catcher nothing. from Suicide Squad, bro. You turning that down, my nigga? <laughs> nothing. You turning that down? <laughs> yeah. Shut nothing, your line. Nothing you stopping shit. you. Lying you whore. Stopping you lying whore. Nothing. You lying mother. No you're lying bro. whore. It's you're stopping. liar, cold. Nothing. So she coming at you. Come on, daddy. I need you right now. I want to be. Oh my yeah, god. Nothing. Get, come get this real pussy. Quick. Yeah. Hey, nothing. Yo, you not even not happen. Nothing uh. is physically stopping me from walking away. So I'll do this it. I'll be. Cap. Hey, check this. I'll be cap. burning. I'll be burning on the inside. I'll be. Oh my goodness. I need it. All that crazy shit would go on in my head. But I can physically walk away, and I champion that ability. So freak that. Oh, you a liar. Yeah. It's yeah. the truth. But. But let me say my piece because I never got to say my piece. You, you say no to this? I will slap you, nigga. I say no, bro. I will slap first you, and then get mad. And I slap you, and then get mad at your girl all, for getting mad at you for getting first at that. First of all, beauty is subjective, so it's it's no, 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 Still subjective. And it's not subjective. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That Still is a, a common amongst all of us, bro. Still subjective. Nah, bro. Anyways, let me say. Don't my nobody piece. want a woman that doesn't have nice lips. Let me say my piece. We want. We want. We want puppy. Still Sucks. subjective. Sucks. We don't want. Soft. We don't want no lips on our women. It's Soft subjective. Don't bro. nobody want a woman that has no lips. <laughs> you want a woman with no, no lips, no. nigga? No, I want. Don't a woman no man on this planet that want a woman with no nice. lips. That's nice. But that's beauty. not subjective. Anyways, that's not subjective. But beauty is subjective. Now, freak, freak you. My p- COA TV tier three, bro. You ain't bro. shit. Coins yeah, up tier in three the time. air. Tier three. Coins, Coins in for the my air. man. 